Hello, good Easter Sunday evening, everybody. Uh, Pastor Michael with you here for an Easter evening Vespers. I've um, been doing these for several weeks now, and uh, just thought it'd be good to remind people what these are. Uh, these Vespers, um, that's a word that means evening or night. Um, it's both a Latin and a Greek term, and it comes from the history, a long history in the church, of gathering three times a day for devotions and prayer and contemplation on morning, noon, and night. And the night one was always called Vespers. Uh, so this has been our tradition uh, for the last few weeks during this uh, during this time of coronavirus and social distancing and uh, stay-at-home orders um, that we've been working together uh, this way um, and uh, and offering some words of encouragement and hope on these uh, these Vespers nights. And uh, so certainly want to do that again for you here on uh, on Easter Sunday. Uh, provide just a couple of comments uh, for you regarding regarding that. And what was a different Easter Sunday for most of us certainly was for me. Uh, did not have a congregation full of people, um, but nonetheless had a congregation of people. Uh, they were just spread out in various places in their homes and with uh, with their families wherever they were at uh, on the radio or online and uh, even many people beyond this congregation uh, who regularly attend here and was uh, grateful to have all of them uh, with us this morning um, in remembering and celebrating uh, that first Easter Sunday uh, which was so dramatically different and maybe more like what this year's was than in years than in other years, without all the uh, the singing and the and the music that we had before, that we're used to having, just something quiet and and subtle. But nonetheless, the hope is still there. Uh, the power of the resurrection uh, still remains. And as I was thinking and reflecting about that today, spending time with my family and just spending time with myself and my own thoughts uh, about about Easter. Um, for family devotions today at, at our Easter mealtime with my family, I read some verses from 1 Corinthians 15, uh, where Paul goes through an entire chapter. Uh, it's a very long chapter, almost 60 verses, uh, that he walks through um, the power and the significance and the meaning of the resurrection. And a verse stuck out to me as I was reading through that. We didn't read it all at the dinner table, but this verse we did read, or these verses we did read, and they stuck out to me. Um, 1 Corinthians 15, beginning at verse 17. And if Christ has not been raised, your faith is futile. You are still in your sins. Then also, those who have fallen asleep in Christ are lost. If only for this life we have hope in Christ, we are of all people most to be pitied. It's an interesting phrase that Paul uses there when talking to the to the Corinthians. If our hope is only in this life, we are most of all to be pitied. Now, why would Paul say that? And the reason he would say that is because um, if we don't have anything to hope for beyond this life, if we're putting hope in something that doesn't last, that doesn't have significance or meaning beyond uh, what happens now uh, to us while we're while we're here on earth, then it's a pointless hope. It's not hope in anything at all. Um, it's, it's, it's a false hope. It's a pretend hope. It's, it uh, sets us up for failure. Um, but Christ has indeed been raised, he goes on to say. That's what we celebrated today. The fact that though Easter is very different this year, the fact remains that the tomb is still empty and Jesus still rose. We do have a hope, and we are not most of all to be pitied. We are most of all because of God's grace, those of us who believe in Jesus Christ and in the resurrection of, of the dead and of him from the grave. We are most of all those who have hope and joy and gladness, even on a day like today, especially on a day like today, perhaps. And uh, so Christ has been raised from the dead by God, and we will be raised with him one day when he comes again. And that is our hope. Our hope is not merely our hope in Christ is not merely for this life, but it's also for the next. It's in hope of a better life, of things yet to come, of things not yet understood. Our faith is not futile. Our faith is filled with hope because of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. 
and in the resurrection that will occur at the last days when he will come to judge the living and the dead. We say that in the Apostles' Creed, I believe in God the Father Almighty. And then we say, I believe in the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Amen. And that's how it concludes. That we believe in the resurrection of the body and that he will again come to judge the living and the dead. And so that's your hope on this Easter Sunday. A hope in something that is not futile. A hope in something that is not just for this life. But for a life beyond this life. With God, with Jesus. In the new heavens and the new earth that he himself is creating and will create. And so on this Easter Sunday, may you know and remember that your faith is not futile. And that you serve a risen Savior. And his name is Jesus. And in him we have hope. And so on this Easter Sunday night, may the God of hope bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine on you and be gracious to you. May he turn his face toward you and give you his hope-filled peace. Amen. Good night and God bless you.